Okay, what's up? This is Dave, and I'm doing a quick gear demo for someone in the chat room. We were talking about uh, ways of showing or using a camera uh, when you're recording to, you know, like for taking pictures of crafts. And I think this thing actually works pretty well. So over here, like s this particular application, we're talking about iPhones, but this is my... Right now, this is the boom arm that's running. Let me switch to the double camera view. So... Here's, this is the view of the camera. This is the camera I'm looking at here. And essentially this is another uh, webcam that's attached to this gimbal mount. And this is attached to the microphone boom arm itself. So the reason why I have this gimbal mount here, even though this can go up and down like this, is because uh, I want to actually be able to point this straight down. And uh, if I didn't have this gimbal mount and just pointed it straight down, I could just do something like this. Let me put this back up here. Before I didn't have this thing on it, and I had a different mount. So if I pointed it straight down using the just, just built-in swivel, it'll point down though, but here's the problem. It's at an oblique angle. Now I could move this boom arm so it's like this. But now it's in the way, and I can't actually write. So, I don't know if we can see this. I could maybe put it between my legs and try to go f straight down like this, but this is super awkward as well. I mean, it's straight now, you know, but it still sucks. I could raise it up maybe, and it's kind of out of the, less out of the way, but, you know, it still, still kind of sucks. Well, the nice thing about the boom arm is it does give you this ability to move up and down, especially this one, because it has a one-handed one -handed clutch. Um, the other nice advantage of it is that I can extend this in and out like like this, and this well, can move up and down like this. So it's pretty flexible. This one is a pretty nice German boom arm made by K&M. Um, but with the gimbal mount, which is a separate thing that I bought, I can now stretch this out like this, and then I can also rotate it like this. So now it's straight. And because it's like, because it's now at a side here, you can look at the top of this. <sighs> this will come along, and I no no longer have that issue of it of this arm getting in the way of my arm. So I can actually do stuff that's a little bit uh, more freely. So you can see, there's the arm. This side, on the right side, you can see where I'm set up here. If I wanted to demonstrate some stuff. I have a little bit more room to, to work with. I can stretch this out a little bit further. Stability suffers a bit. But I can pretty much, you know, maybe with some weights on this, I could dampen this so it doesn't move around so much. But if you just wait for the damping to stop, it should be okay. And the, if you want to get that wiggling motion to go away, then you got to spend more money. So I could be doing things like, oh, look, let me make this. Let me make a, a thing. This is actually too far out. Move it like this. And so it's kind of in the way of what I'm doing, but it's close enough. And I could like be doing demonstrations over here like that. Um, another thing, you know, if you're using an iPhone, then you would use something like one of these. This is just something that will attach the, in the bottom of, of this. And uh, you could just think, use your phone. Where is my phone anyway? I can show how that would work. <laughs> So let me unscrew this. Hopefully this won't be too much of a pain in the butt. Um, this is like locked in there. So th the bottom of this webcam has a regular one quarter twenty mount. It's a one quarter twenty uh, screw. It's pretty standard for cameras. Um, if you're looking for an adapter, that's what you're what you're going for. So I'll put this camera down here. Also, um, you had to buy this gimbal, and it needs to be able to connect to the end of a microphone arm. This particular one this is stuck on there pretty good. Um, the microphone mount is uses a three eighth or a five eighth 
um, connector. So you need a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter, which are pretty easy to find. Um, I think the European standard is 5 8 of an inch. This is a German microphone stand, so it's using 5 8 I think. I think that's right. The American standard is 3 8 um, But anyway, you can take one of these. You can screw it on the, onto this. I'm kind of blocking the view here. At least you can try to. I'm just screwing this thing on. This is just one of many possible mounts you could get. And then I'm going to attach the phone to this. I mean, I'm going to turn this into um, using this as a remote source. This might take a while to pop up. Uh, where's the NDI monitor? I don't have that running. NDI monitor, NDI monitor, NDI monitor is here. It's on the wrong screen. Piece of crap. I keep telling it to start on this screen, but it never does. And so this ideally should start. So okay, now that's going there, I can turn on the NDI monitor. Um, is it showing on this? No, it's not showing. Okay, this is the NDI monitor now. So I can then put this on here somewhere. This is like a kind of a crappy mount. You'll probably want one that's easier to adjust. But now that it's on there, I can do the same thing with this camera. So now I'm using the iPhone here. Why is this so wobbly? just with this grip mount. So sh you might be recording with um, just using a video recorder here and you wouldn't be having this OBS setup like I'm doing but this is a pretty I think this is not a bad setup for doing this kind of doing this kind of thing. Uh, so here I am manipulating all my stuff. <laughs> it's nice and out of the way. Easy to position. If I needed to push this point this at something else I could just like undo this thing and, and point it. You know, again, you want to find a mount that doesn't suck. <laughs> you know. So you probably want to do several setups. If you know, the live setup, this is a little bit awkward. But then with this boom arm here, I can actually do all this kind of stuff. Go up and down. I can get really high. I can push it down. Now I can like adjust this down here. And you know, other than the stability issues, it's not too bad. You know, it's waving back and forth a little bit. But if you're doing uh, static video setups and not doing the live stuff, you should be fine. You just wait for the thing to stop moving and everything will be good. So that's a quick demo of like my boom arm microphone stand setup. And um, I'll put the posters in my gear archives. That's it. Time for the stream to stop.